Tonka Raceway by Hasbro Interactive in the Media Station. Now this is one of those games you got in a cereal box in the late 90s. It, it's a racing game featuring uh, Tonka vehicles and your favorite Tonka characters like Tonka Joe, news reporter Jenna, Susie Sparks the mechanic, and other characters you may recognize from the Tonka universe. <laughs> so let's check out the features. The first feature is the very cool track designer. First you choose a setting such as a desert or jungle, then you put down the roads and make a lengthy or short track. I particularly found the adding of obstacles such as trees and pylons kind of neat as it seemed you can lay down tons of these things. Once you go to the racing you can race on a pre-made track or choose one of your custom tracks. You then pick from a time trial, two player racing or a race from a very large assortment of Tonka team racers. There's a huge variety of vehicles with different stats, some faster, some more durable and has some silly designs. Racing takes place in an overhead view and features a pit stop if you need repairs. When you win races you will get points to upgrade your car in Sparks Garage. From more speed to more durability, you can turn low-end vehicles to be competitive or make higher-end cars even better. There's also a trophy room to see your racing accomplishments and print certificates to commemorate your greatness. Uh, however, there are some issues I had with this game. First off, when you customize a vehicle, you want it to feel customized. When you add parts, you don't actually see any physical change to your car. And you can't paint your car either. It, it just makes you feel that the customizing shop is pretty pointless. You know, you see the fancy tire and armor plate and graphics. You know, I really would have liked to see the actual change on the car physically. Now, when you get a reward, Jenna comes out and uh, announces it. But uh, the thing is that um, other than one sentence, her and Tonka Joe just have the same conversation every single time. You know, Jenna, I set a couple of track records in my time, too. No, 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 Joe. Tell us about that. Uh, tell us about your history. Tell us about the insane racing crash when you flew out of the windshield and fell headfirst into a men's room toilet. You know, there, there was a real chance here to get to know the characters and Tonka Land history, but they didn't bother to use this opportunity. And my biggest issue with this, the racing. Wow, it, it is so bad. You barely have to do anything when racing. Just hold the acceleration. When turns appear, the, the game actually turns for you. Occasionally you will hit things, but if you're racing anybody except the top Tonka team members like Tonka Joe, you'll win all the time. I, I mean, wow, winning almost every single race without barely steering the entire time. For fun, I even ran a two-player race against myself. It wasn't hard because all I had to do was accelerate. I got both cars across the finish line in less than three seconds of each other. So despite some cool things in here, the racing, the most important thing in a racing game is terrible. And because of that, it just ruins everything else. So I'm gonna have to say pass on this one and hopefully I'll check out some better Tonka games in the future. Anyway, there you have it, Tonka Raceway. Thanks for watching.